energy costs were really booming and causing us an awful lot of problems when we uh, really came out of the pandemic. Uh, it just es escalated. We really had to find a way of bringing down our, our overall costs. We thought the best way to do that would be th by introducing solar panels. We put our application in and, I mean, it was completely new to me doing a crowdfunding application because although you'd heard the term, you really didn't know what was involved. And within a few weeks, I think we'd got something like £10,000 from the local authority, which was great. And then within another few weeks, we got another £4,000 from another organisation linked to bringing down energy costs. And that really gave us the impetus then to say, OK, we've got almost three quarters in the bag, if you like. So where are we going to get the other five or six thousand pounds from? And that really spurred us on. So the whole community of, of Castle Park Arts Centre really put the backs into it. Oh, it, it's a lifeline to us because really what, I mean, we're self-funded. We don't, we don't receive any subsidence grants. So as you say, there's a lot going on. We, we've got the galleries which change exhibition every six weeks. But in addition to that, we've got the rooms, the galleries rented out for art classes, for knit and natter groups, um, for workshops, um, and, 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 and that generated more revenue for us. Then we've got the courtyard, which is a lovely space for people to come and meet. It's a, it's a kind of safe space for people. Lots of people just come on their own. They sit in the, in the courtyard or in the cafe. And I, it, what's really surprised me is how they've made friends with others who've just come. So it's become a quite a tight-knit social community.